Welcome back to my Let's Play for Etrian Odyssey 2, Heroes of the Guard. And I suppose it's time to fill in the rest of the first floor here. Or at least try. I mean, this may be a huge map for all I know, but I don't think it is. Um, we'll have to see, though. Never really got that far in this game. I was f having far more fun with on the Drowned City when I first messed with it than I want to go mess with this one. Oh yeah, I've really upped some um, Sistine Strength so she can hit like a truck right now in preparation to get um, Curse Cut. Which requires me to have a Strength of plus 6 and um, War Edge of level 10, but I can't even work on that yet, but yeah. I've um, really buffed her Physical Strength at the moment. For a tactical advantage in some fights. A bit weird seeing someone hit that hard this early. Usually I don't bother um, hitting strength up this early on. I usually prefer to invest in skills rather than, you know, raw power. As you continue through the depths of the forest, you notice a small wooden sign. A warning is written on to explorers who challenge the labyrinth. Do not disturb the monster in the hall. Your curiosity will be your undoing! Hmm. Interesting. I'm guessing that's the purple foe right there. Which probably means it's pretty tough. But... I might be able to take it at this point. I mean, my party is higher level than you might think at this point. You know, being level 7. Though having invested more points in, um... Strength may have been beneficial if I wanted to try that strategy. After all... After all, we are trying to pick a fight with a foe, potentially, and those guys always hit hard. Really hard. Especially early on. And I don't exactly have a lot of nectars or anything on hand, you know, to heal my sorry butt. Hmm, a gleaming jewel inside a hole? I'll take it. I mean, even if it's a monster attack, I'll still take it on. A gel core. Huh. Wonder what that does. Well, I'm sure I'll find out eventually. Might as well go this way. I mean, we can go after the foe, you know, whenever. It's just sitting there waiting for us. Okay, you guys focus on the mole rat here. That may or may not have been owned by Ron Stoppable. I I'm guessing no, because let's face it, Ron would not have an evil mole rat, you know? It's not in his um, character to own such a thing. Okay. Yeah, I know what the status menu is. Thank you. Okay, level 6. Okay, we're a level 6, not level 7. My bad. I still might be dumb enough to try and take that thing on, though. Especially if I can fill the force gauges. A steel pin. Huh. So what's this thing like? Oh, I got some bait. I got one nectar. Oh, yay. So it's, uh... I just called a steel hair clip. I mean, I guess it'd be longer, but still. Yes, yes, I know what a quip does. Thank you. Further buffing her, um, strength stat, you know? So we got going for insane. Come on, I need more power. Especially, um, Riel, because, you know, she feels disappointed, you know, being outclassed by, you know, a war mage, you know, at hitting things. Like, I'm a war mage, but I hit things really hard. Man, building out those four skaters takes forever. Come on, just let me kill you. Damn it, Sistine, I was counting on you to hit this thing. <sighs> I didn't want to spend any more time on that hedgehog than I had to. You disappoint me. Well, I guess that's just a tree. How sad. Hmm, a crawler, eh? Well, it's not a sand crawler, so obviously it's not used for farming on Arrakis. 
quite the ugly caterpillar, I have to admit. Oh well. Be within an inch of its life and take its money. Well, now. Let's, um, hit this stuff up. Hmm. I got blindsided by some hedgehogs. Really? How these hedgehogs get the drop on me? I mean, look at them. They're covered in prickles. You definitely see them coming, man. It's hard to miss these prickly jerks. <sighs> I guess... guess my party's just blind. It's kinda sad. Uh... A farming point. Jeez. Spitting up saliva there. As interesting as that is, I really don't have any way to take advantage of it right now. All my points are tied up into, you know, passive or actual skills right now, for the most part. The only ones that aren't like that are, you know, I've been trying to figure out what I want to do with them. I mean, Quistus even has her points, you know, currently spent on, you know, Viper and whatnot, so she can throw around Poison. I mean, that might be my, um, out for dealing with the foe. If I can poison them really badly, you know, I might be able to kill them that way. I mean, it's an option, at least. Though I don't imagine we'll be able to, like, kill this thing, you know, in one hit. Oh, yeah. I, can, I definitely want to tread lightly around this thing. I mean, look at it. It's, it's all bright and orange. That must mean it's really, really dangerous. Hmm. <laughs> well, more like dumb enough to challenge it, because let's face it, confidence plays no part in this decision, just stupidity. Well, let's do it anyway. Well, first things first, then. Dead law. I'm just gonna try and beat you to death. Viper. Um, fire shot, maybe. Ah, no luck with the poison. I was counting on that. Poison is a must for this fight. I guess it's immune. Shoot. Well, now. Nectar. Well, we got lucky. The gunner didn't die. Let's try and beat you again, Viper. Yeah, I know, we're not gonna have most of our party left by the time this fight's over. Damn, I really needed that hit. And that one. Seriously, poison the jerk. Well, we beat it with with three characters left. All my frontliners. Time to get out of here, though. And that took a lot out of me. I mean, two of my party members are dead. I'm gonna have to go revive them. Ugh. Sad day. Well, this is why you usually don't t try to challenge foes unless you're sure you're ready. Because once the fight's on, you know, if you ain't ready, you're a corpse in the making. That's why I fear going against the greedy lizards for so long. I'm like, man, they're probably gonna beat the crap out of me. Well, let's see it. Yep, 30 in, 5 per a level. Okay, I guess we can try the trading shop and see if we can get enough money to, you know, rest at the inn. Yeah, I'll sell those off. I probably should just get rid of that, too. Get rid of all that, too, while we're at it. Leave. Um... 
Guess we can try the bar and see if there's any jobs. Of course not. Well... Yeah, I'm, I'm actually go back in there and look at it. Oh, well, I can say it's take it slow. If you die, it's curtains for you. Man, I still gotta do that water job. Maybe that's where that note's at. I should probably go check that out. <sighs> I mean, I do have enough energy to, like, finish healing everybody back up, so it's not like I actually have to, you know, immediately head to the inn right now. <sighs> okay, skills. Cure, cure. I was hoping for some experience off the gash door, though. Like, we got nothing for it. Like, oh, you killed a foe? No experience for you! But it was a powerful foe. Like, no experience. End of story. Yep. Let's farm it. Ah, oh, man, some more mole rats. Did you naked mole rats just get lost? I'm here to complete a job. Because I desperately need some cash. <sighs> the fun my expedition's in here. How irritating. Hmm. Yep, let's, um, take this rock water back. After all, I'm sure they'll appreciate our hard work. And then I can rest up, you know, if we're, um, pushing onwards into the depths of the dungeon. Though I'm assuming, you know, on the other side of that door is basically just, you know, the entrance to the next floor. Where there's probably more foes to be had. Ones that hopefully, you know, give out more experience than that guy did, which, you know, was higher than zero. Seriously, that was unbelievable. Like, you put a foe there, but I don't get experience for killing it. Like, is there some sort of quest to get rid of it? That I'm now just, you know, complete in advance. But, here, I'll turn that in and get the freeze oil. Yeah, yeah, I do. I suspect we'd go over and die if it weren't for Yggdrasil. Well, no. Three long pins. Well, then. Been here for a dog's age. He's a mite odd, but a damn good at his job. His clothes from animal skin, but it's a tough needle that can pierce them hides. Long story short, you kill this needle critter and bring back the spines. Shouldn't be too hard to find a BC that'll drop the long pins you need. Good luck. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> Just say weapon and the splores come running. Yeah, yeah, I know what it is. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to get something that has the take skill to complete this job, though. I don't refuse a girl like that. I put it up straight away, but well, to be honest, I wasn't listening too close. You'll have to go ask her what she needs. <laughs> of course, of course, my good sir. Well, let's talk about your job. Yes, yes, it is. I never made a request with Cass before, so I wasn't sure if anyone would take it. My father is a very busy man, you see, so I'll have to give you. You know, the materials list myself, um, here it is. One bug wing and one bent twig. Okay, so I need to find a bug wing, which I imagine would be... probably... on the second floor, I'm assuming, you know, where there might be some butterflies. Um, that would be my guess right now. Um, the bent twig, I'm probably gonna have to go over to the Explorer's Guild and switch up my party members. Much to my annoyance. Um... Sistine can stay. I'll keep you. Soylen, I'm sorry, but you're gonna get benched so I can take a survivalist with me. Um, let's see. Customize. 
Yeah, I don't care about any of that. No, that's my interest right now. All I want is take skills. More the better. Obviously, you know, if I could, I'd want to make just an entire team of survivalists at this point, you know, to farm that take point. To be honest, the farmers in Etrian Odyssey 3 are just much better at this task, albeit you're eventually going to want to make a ninja to do that stuff for you. And no, I'm not kidding. You eventually want a ninja to do farm work for you. Because um, ninjas can learn a skill that lowers the cost of their skills, you see. Hmm. Quite a load. I see. You should be able to that bug wing from a venom fly. Hmm. A venom fly, huh? Well, thanks for the advice. I'm assuming I can get the bent twig over here, though. Hopefully, it's not a rare find. I mean, sometimes these spots have those. Like, oh, you want something valuable? Rare find. I can't believe that naked mole rat hit me that hard. It's a tougher sum of a gun than you expect, I guess. Just die. Seriously. I'm not looking for any of these guys. I'm looking for, you know, hedgehogs. I don't want tiny bloom or sour fruit. Tarnates. I don't know. I mean, the bent twig would most likely be there. Is there a chop point, which I haven't found yet? I mean, that's my other option. Shit, I got blindsided. Please kill the naked mole rat quickly. Thank you. Ow. If only this team was a bit faster. I mean, she comes in, hits the hardest, but she takes forever to get off. Okay. Well, everyone's happy again. For the moment. Jeez. More hedgehogs? That'd be, um, lovely. After all, they drop the stuff I need. Sometimes. Come on, kill it. That's two long pins. Need one more. Come on, give me a long pin. Come on, hedgehog. Yeah! Well, at least the hedgehogs are easy to find, you know? They don't try to sequester themselves away into, you know, a tight corner or something. Or take forever to find like the Gigapedes did. Oh god, those things take forever. I don't want rat needles, I want long pins. Man, game that sucked, you denied me for no reason. <sighs> Come on, give me something I can use. Well, let's try this again. Yeah, 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 whatever. You, you hit Kagome, no one cares. Finally. Yeah, we got three long pins, so I can report back to my success on that one job, at least. Even if that other one's still open. Oh wait, no one's dead right now. Um... The bar, yeah. Well, let's report back our results. Now that were fast, lassies. Here, one, two, three. Here's the reward for you. Well, of course not. Okay. Let's um sell off this um bloom, I guess. Restore some HP. Interesting. So that gives me nectar. A war chime. Interesting. 
items. Okay, so that decreases the encounter rate. Not really my thing. Okay, so it gives back HP. You know, for revival, but it's way more expensive than Netrion Odyssey 3, man. 500? Jeez. That's freaking expensive. Well, at least with the whole take thing, I can afford to rest at the end here. <sighs> Man, that ain't cheap. I will at least find the entrance to the third floor and make sure it's... Not third floor, second floor, and make sure it's where I think it is. Then I'm probably gonna go back and fill in this map. Oh, yeah. That's just the background there. No way through. Duh. Like, I'm just staring at it. Like, what am I staring at? Why am I being stupid? <sighs> okay, death to the naked roll, <laughs> roll rad. Seriously. Damn, I need to get faster than this thing. I need more levels. <sighs> Well, that helps. Kinda. So is the um, entrance over here. Oh, there's there's more. Oh, there it is. Well, first things first, we'll hit you up. Well, most of you might hit the same target, but it's not going to be enough. Come on. Well, I don't really care where they fall at this point. It can be all super random, doesn't matter. But, you know, at least we found the entrance to the next floor. That'll do for this episode. Next time, you know, we'll try and finish up that quest for, you know, the wooden bow. Until then, see ya.